This is question eight of the GED geometric practice test, a question on cone. It says a cone that holds 30 cubic inches of cereal has a diameter of six inches to the nearest inch. What is the height of the cone? So it has it told us that the diameter is what six inches. You know, the diameter is from uh, a line that crosses the center of the circle that touches two points of the circle and passes through the center. So this is the diameter. If the diameter is six, then it means the radius, which is half of a diameter from here to here is three. From here to here is three. So the radius is equal to three. Okay, and what's the formula for the volume of a cone? The volume of a cone is one over three by R square H. Okay, we know that the volume is 30, V is 30 equal to 1 over 3. Our pi is times 3.14. Now pi is what? Pi is, is uh, 3.14 on our formula sheet. Our r square, you can see, thank God I just quickly did the r. For, from here you were given the diameter, so you must know how to find the radius from a diameter, okay? When you're given diameter, the radius is just simply half of the diameter, okay? So here is uh, um, r is equal to 3, so that is 3 square, okay? 3 raised to the power 2, then times h. We're looking for h, okay? That's the height. So from here, we have 30 is equal to 1 over 3 times 3.14 times 3 squared is what? 9 times h. Okay? I can cancel out 3 here. Okay? That's, uh, I'm just breaking this down for simplification, but you can just use your calculator. Okay? So, 3 will be here. Alright? So, from here, we are left with 30 is equal to 3.14 times 3 times h. So, I will divide both sides by 3.14 times 3. 3.14 times 3. This would cancel out. We are left just here with H. That's, you know, that's the goal to make H stay alone, stand the unknown, stand alone on one side of the equation. When I do this on my calculator, 30 divide by this, by this, okay? What I will get is what? A 3.18, all right? So H is equal to 3.18. And it doesn't stop there, it says to the nearest inch. So to the nearest inch, you can see here, after the three, after the decimal point, we just have one. All right, one is not up to five, so we can't approximate here. So H is just equal to three inches. Okay, so this is our answer, three inches. All right, let's go to the next question.